To install TeamViewer on your Ubuntu desktop, first go to the TeamViewer Linux download page and download the TeamViewer full client. For Ubuntu 24, make sure to download the 64-bit package marked for Ubuntu and Debian. After the download is complete, the first thing you need to do is open a terminal and install the GDB core package. After installing GDB, CD into your downloads folder and then install the teamviewer.deb package using GDB command. That's it for the installation. Now let's start TeamViewer. So here is our TeamViewer ID and the password. Now let's try to connect to this computer remotely from another computer. Okay, the connection is established, but we don't see the Ubuntu desktop. This is because Ubuntu 24 uses Wayland as its default display server, and TeamViewer currently doesn't support unattended remote desktop with Wayland. If we switch back to the Ubuntu machine, you'll see a prompt asking to allow remote desktop access. If we authorize the connection here, the desktop will be visible on the remote computer. However, you have to manually approve this every time you connect. This isn't ideal if you want unattended remote access to your own computer. Instead, if you want unattended remote access, you'll need to switch to the X11 display server. To do that, first log out of the user. Then, on the login screen when you select the user, you'll see a small gear icon in the bottom right corner. Click the gear icon and select Xorg. Then log in to your user account. Now we are using the X11 display server, and we should be able to establish an unattended remote desktop connection to this computer. If you want to uninstall TeamViewer, first run the dpkg-l command to find the name of the TeamViewer package installed on your computer. Then uninstall it using the apt-purge command. After uninstalling the TeamViewer package, run the command apt auto remove to remove any dependency packages that are no longer required. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more Ubuntu tips and tutorials.